Point 10 communities are coming together, preparing for the worst, hoping for the best tonight. Filling sandbags is more flooding as expected here in the coming days. This is First Alert 4 at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. Just a day after our region saw deadly flash flooding, the focus turns to swelling rivers and creeks. Yeah, new tonight, we know the flood levee gates in Valley Park will close tomorrow morning. And we're also tracking some more rain on the way. Tonight, we do have Team 4 covered. Steve is going to update us on the latest forecast here in just a bit. But first, want to get to our John Kipper, who is live in Pacific, where these sandbagging efforts are just beginning tonight. John. Yeah, Sam and Corey, we're at the commuter parking lot in Pacific, and normally this is a pretty quiet place at this hour, but as you can tell, there are still people here passing out sandbags as people are hoping to grab those sandbags to protect their own property before the Merrimack finally crests. We're going to sandbag the front door, back door. Nicholas Hoffman and his family spent a little time Wednesday filling sandbags before he got a few hours for his own house. He's not sure he's going to be able to work Thursday, but he does know he's evacuating his family. We're going to pack up and go have a fun night at Grandma's house. <laughs> Last night we did go door to door. Pacific Mayor Heather Philly says residents in the affected area were told of a voluntary evacuation Tuesday due to rising levels on the Merrimack River. Power will also shut off in those areas Thursday at 6 a.m. As water gets into homes, now you're running the risk of live electric and water. Right now, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says water levels on the Merrimack and Pacific are at 18 feet. It projects levels to go up to 25 feet Thursday and crest Friday just under 27 feet. She worries about the road south of town shutting down. It'll be harder for emergency vehicles, um, responders to get to situations. Down the road at the ice cream shop, Hoffman's driving. The long lines brought back flashbacks to summertime. Well, just to try to get it out of here so it doesn't go to waste. Owner Jonathan Tyne says they worry water could get through the floor drains and ruin the product. So they had a 50% off custard sale Wednesday. I think most of the reason why they're doing this is to help us out, not just to get the, the cheap custard. They picked up sandbags earlier with the help of volunteers like Vanessa Merritt, who is not in the flood area. But I knew there was going to be people that needed help. Once the sun went down, the number of volunteers ranged over 60 people. Everybody's willing to help everybody. You know, when the community is in need, here we all are, whether we're affected by it or just our neighbors. Now, because of all this flood uncertainty, the Merrimack Valley School District here in town announced they're shutting down classes for the rest of the week. Reporting live in Pacific, John Kipper, First Lord 4. Seems like attitudes are still pretty positive there, John. Thank you. It is a similar.